This mistake cost me over $100,000 and here's what I learned from it. In this video today, I'm gonna share with you how I made one of the biggest mistakes in my career and it cost me over $100,000, but it was so impactful in what I learned going forward in business. I'm so grateful for it. I've actually taken this $100,000 loss and I've categorized it as an investment into development as a business person. Several years ago, I was leaving a KW office and I was actually gonna join a competitor at the time. However, it didn't end up in alignment with the values. And so I was forced into making a fast decision since I wasn't gonna stay at KW and I wasn't gonna go to EXP and I ended up creating a business partnership at an independent brokerage where I owned half the company and the other person owned half the company. I made two huge mistakes that cost me over $100,000 in this process. The first mistake, I chose to do business with the wrong person. I literally chose to align myself with a human being that didn't have the skill set or the leadership skills or the business knowledge that I thought that that individual had and it cost me big time. So the biggest mistake that I want to warn you from is who you go into business with matters. And I learned several things with this, especially in how to create an operating agreement because going beyond that, I've actually started business partnerships and exited them very easily with one trick because of this. The first is have a very clear role for each individual documented inside of the operating agreement. But second is have a trigger for an exit clause. Now this has been life saving ever since then because I didn't have a clear exit in this particular example I was telling you about. But when you have a clear exit strategy, however that looks, you can end a business partnership within as little as five days and it's smooth and easy and that way it doesn't cost you a whole lot of time, energy, and money. Now, the second lesson that I learned is no matter what my position is with inside of the company, I still must be attached to that P&L statement and paying attention. Because one of the biggest mistakes that really cost me throughout this is I trusted that the business partner was staying up to date with the profit and loss statement. Now, I once heard a story of people that go to a Mormon temple. And the Mormon temple is a very sacred place and they change from their outside day-to-day -day clothes into what's called their temple clothes. In there, there's a changing room and each of the, the people have a lock, a, a locker with a lock on it that they can lock their outside clothes up while they're inside of the temple. And I thought it was very curious, so I asked a question and it's like, well, why is there a lock on the lockers inside of the temple, which is this holy place for the moments to go? And the response that I'd heard was very uncanny. It says, to keep an honest man honest. Now, just because you choose the right partner, that doesn't mean that mistakes can't happen. But what I soon found out because I personally avoided not holding that individual accountable to provide those to me each month, I lost track over a two and a half year period to where all of a sudden money was missing from the PL statement, not from anything but poor spending in the company, but actually the person was taking the money for their own personal use. That's right, it was going and leaving to their bank account. Now, where the confusion happens in that type of situation with an unclear operating agreement, how expenses are spent, then there becomes a he said, she said, and that's where the problem, it just creates and compounds. So if you choose the right partner and if you stay up to date, both of you or all of you, whoever's the percentage of owners in the company, up to date on those P&L statements and you're questioning the expenses consistently, then there's no confusion because maybe they grab the wrong credit card or they're low on money or they're high in anxiety and so they make a poor decision. Now, if when the poor decision is made that there's not a level of accountability, well, it gets easier and easier to make that poor decision to where you're so far off the rail. But if there's a level of accountability by watching those P&L statements and unseeing where the expenses are going, quickly you can get back on task and you can hold that person accountable where they can either put money back into the company, which is not ideal, but it's better than not going unchecked for two and a half or three years. Or ideally, this is what will happen, is people know that the door is locked so they're not even gonna try and break into it. What they're gonna do is they're gonna know each month you're having a P&L statement review and they don't wanna have to have that conversation. 
So this is a lesson that I've learned that cost me well over $100,000, but in the long run has made me hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions more, simply because it changed how I did business going forward, who I did it with, with and what are my operating agreements look like. I wanna know what your thoughts are down in the comments down below and what is your biggest mistake or biggest cost mistake you've made in business so far. Make sure you hit that like button and share this video with someone else. We'll see you soon. Look, I wanna say thanks for watching my video. And I know that this isn't for everyone, but it is for certain people that are ready to make big changes. Like they're ready to create residual revenue. They're ready to become real business owners. They're ready to have a business that makes money even when they're not working. And if that's you, I want you to click the link down in the description and I want to give you an opportunity to have what's called a triage discovery call. We're gonna meet with my head coach and learn where you're stuck in your business and what changes you gotta make so that you don't have to work to make money. I, and I wanna say it again, I know that sounds crazy, but imagine you took time off and you still made money. That doesn't mean you don't have a business to grow, you absolutely do. But I'm gonna teach you how to grow a business that makes money even when you're not there working. So click the link down below, get your free consultation with my team, and let's really discover where you're at and how you can create it. We'll see you there.